Welcome back to Jeremy Corner, guys. In the last video, we have did the UI part for editing the block. In this video, I'll be showing how to do the backend process for completing the edit process. So let's see how we can do that. So so far, well, we have did this part. We have called the inflate UI. Now what I need is I need one more variable here. I'm going to create a private boolean is edit mode is in edit mode so i'm going to keep a variable is in edit mode and i am going to set the default value as true boolean or true so in a uh, normally is in edit mode well, sorry i am going to set that to false normally is in edit mode will be false right? because we will be calling book add controller from add new book option the, uh, I will set this is in edit mode to true only when I call this inflate UI. I will call this inflate UI only when it is in edit mode. So I'm going to set this as true is in edit mode. So uh, if I call inflate UI, it will be in edit mode. So currently it is in force. So what I'm going to do is this add book will be called when a new save option will be called. So for that, what I'm going to do is here I will do one more check. After this, I will do one more check. If is in edit mode, then what I will do is is in edit mode. Then I have to handle the edit option. So handle edit mode edit operation so i'm going to create a method called handle edit operation so so far so good i am going to set this i'm going to create the method here handle edit operation so i have a handle edit operation here now let's do the query i need a query so string update equals then update book that is a table name where or set I can set then I uh, I needed the database or oh, I don't remember the column is actually so I have ID that is not changeable I can change title author and publisher so I'm going to do that so set title equals question mark which we will set first then author equals second entry comma there is one more entry that is publisher so publisher equals question mark where id equals question mark i hope you remember we, we disable the id edit option so id will never be changed so practically what we are doing is we are editing, suppose we are editing book number 101 then we will tell please change the author and publisher and title as per the given entries for the book ID 101. So I'm going to create a prepared statement here. Prepared statement stmt equals then we have a connection. So con dot uh, no, we don't have a connection. Okay. So we can't create that prepared statement here, I think. Then the because we don't have the database object, I think it is always better to handle this kind of operation in the database handler class itself. So what I am going to do is I am going to create one more method here, just like what we did in uh, whether uh, delete member and all. So public boolean update book. Then what I will do is I will pass that book object here. So book book. I'll pass that book object here to be updated. Then here I have inside book at controller. I didn't I don't need this handle edit operation. I mean I am going to do this here itself. Then here I am going to say that string update equals update. So this okay. Now I need a prepared statement object. So prepare statement stmt equals connection dot prepare statement. Then I'm going to pass that update. So we have prepared the stmt definitely will throw some exception we have to handle that uh surround block with fry cache so that part is okay then we have to set these question marks i mean this entry so stmt dot set string and it always starts with one not from zero uh let us look at the documentation again the first parameter is one the second is two so the first one is title so i'm going to fetch book dot get title then i'm going to do one small two 
which is the order so I am get using get order then three I need get publisher then four the parameter is ID so I'm going to set get ID so update book set title equals something or the publisher or ID so I think the code is fine then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the stmp dot execute so we are expecting an integer value from the execute update operation so int result equals so it will be returning one if it is a success because uh, 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 we we are updating one line. So if R E S greater than zero or if it is simply one, we return one. So the uh, we we can just use like this return R E S greater than zero. So that's a boolean. Then here we return false because if, uh, if there is some kind of exception, we, we return false so that we can handle that exception from our book add controller. So here we have handle edit operation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new book entry. So book, book equals new book. I'm going to create a book entry here. So I need title that is that title is JFX text field. So get text id dot get text then author dot get text then publisher I don't have a publisher I have publisher dot get text then there is a boolean entry is available so the availability is not we are not changing it so in handle book edit operation we will have to change that I mean uh, this away will be a problem so what we have to do is we are not updating it so i'm going to so, uh, anyway we are not going to use that in our database handler because we are only calling get title or the publisher and id so whatever we said uh, it doesn't matter if you want to keep consistency you just have to store this book as a private entry in this class then just call that book dot is available so we can have that exact value right there so for now since it doesn't hurt anything we can just use like this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the database handler so database handler dot update book and i have just have to pass this right there and the next thing if database handler dot update book was a success we will show a message so alert maker we have alert maker dot show single alert success book updated book updated else else we will show another message like uh, the it was an error i mean we couldn't change the so alert maker dot show error message failed can't update book so so far so good let us run the program again It is GC and root. Then view all books. I am going to edit JK Robin. Then I am going to change this publisher to ABCD EFG. Then I am going to press on the save button book updater. As you can see, it is not getting added into the database, it is getting updated into the database. So, okay, there is one more. And, uh, there is a unit we would have. Okay, okay. The problem here is we haven't added a return option here so if it is in edit mode we just have to handle the edit operation and skip the entire insertion part because there is already a book with that book id we can't add it again so i forgot to add that return so that part is okay now let's just run the program again it is gc wrote going to view book section you can see that but publisher is changed i'm going to change the origin here so someone like something then i'm going to press on save then the book is updated so here we have to call the refresh uh, here because uh, <clears throat> this is this is not changed because we are uh, we have to fetch data again from the database because we have changed it only in the database not in the list if you reopen the view all books section we can see that the publisher is changed 
let us make sure everything is working so far we cannot edit book id origin new then i am going to set dan brown one then let us type say okay book is updated if i close and open this we have all the new Dan Brown want someone like something. So uh, thank you for watching this video guys. In the next video I will show you how to add a refresh button here to refresh the table. So that we can get the latest entry when we change something. So as always thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more videos.